<clears throat> Hello, class. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Thank you for your response. And then, uh, can you also see my presentation? Yes. Also, can yeah? Okay, very good. I think we can start the online class now. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so um, our last exercise or our last topic uh, this um, um, Tuesday, I ask you to um, finish uh, activity 5.2 on your textbook uh, according to the according to the telegram line. Uh, um, activity 5.2 textbook page 142 if you can see here and then number two formative practice 5.1 and then workbook exercise 47 to page 48 right okay and then this exercise on 25 may 2021 meaning uh, last tuesday okay last tuesday i hope you already uh, finished the exercises any problem with uh, with with your previous exercise? Got three exercises, right? Huh? Got three exercises. Any problem? Is it okay? Okay. All right. So I think all is okay, lah. Yeah? Okay. If no problem, so I think today uh, we just do a short um, topic for today, right? So you all can uh, open your textbook or I think you just um, look at my presentation first. All right. Uh, the next topic for today, we just continue the chapter five topic. Uh, the uh, uh, what we call the chapter five matter. All right. So uh, if you still remember, we uh, in chapter five, there are only two subtopic. Uh, 5.1 uh, 5.1 is the uh, met matter in nature and then uh, this is the last topic for chapter 5 5.2 three states of matter okay but it is quite long uh, i think it is quite long uh, topic for uh 5.2 but never mind if i cannot finish today maybe i will uh, give the um i will continue later right okay so without uh wasting any time okay 5.2 right the topic for 5.2 is three states of matter okay i will try to highlight for you here there are three states of matter what right. do you still what is what uh what is the meaning of matter Okay, I hope you already uh, understand what is the matter, uh, what is the, what we call the example of matter, uh, and then what are the, uh, we already learned about the physical characteristic or, or physical properties of matter, if you still understand. And then also, you are, we, are, we are already, already learned about the chemical properties of matter, okay? And then how we do we classify the matter? Okay, you still remember, right? So what is the matter? What is the the meaning of the matter? Anybody? What is the meaning of matter? Anybody? If the question asks you, what is the mean? What is the meaning of matter? So what can you say about it, class? What's the meaning of matter? Anybody can explain it or tell to me, uh, give me the answer. What is the meaning of matter? If someone or in the examination told you or asked you what is the meaning of matter, uh, what uh, what is your answer for that? A uh, substance that has mass and occupies space. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Huh? Meaning that anything, substance, or any material, eh? any material, any substance, any object that, that contain mass, have mass, and occupy, occupy space. Okay, right. So, uh, that is the meaning of 
of matter right okay uh i think if you want to uh you can read um uh, uh, what we call uh about that uh, that topic uh next time so uh, for today i just continue the the the, the next topic like uh, 5.2 three states of matter okay so um i will highlight the the what we call the uh the important parts only right so it said here that matter is made up of discrete particles okay discrete particles all matter made up of discrete particles okay later on i will show you the example of particle that's made up the matter okay uh, what are the particles here the particles are so tiny and cannot be seen through our naked eye or by using light microscope also cannot see by using a light microscope huh? if you want to see the particle of every matter you need high power electron microscope okay so it can only be uh, using electron microscope so in theory you just remember in theory that matter is made up of discrete particles okay what are the particles later we go on uh, to show you what are the particles here right okay for example here um uh, these are the particles that i meant huh? okay there is a one theory that we we call kinetic theory of matter that state that uh, states that the matter is made up of constant moving small and discrete particle. Okay, you just remember this, all right? The kinetic theory of a matter, we call it uh, the, the physics, uh, the, what we call the physics theory, we call it kinetic theory of matter, meaning that the matter is made up of constantly, constantly moving small and discrete particle. What's the meaning by discrete class? What's meaning by discrete? Discrete. Uh, discrete means you can uh, uh, you can uh, call it uniform lah, yeah? Uniform, uniform, or in Malay we call it sekata. Okay, discrete particle. Okay, discrete or uniform meaning it has what we call the same uh, size of a um, particle. Okay particle in this one you just remember okay if i if you uh sorry i mean um if you saw the word particle meaning it will represent by the what we call the circle here okay the circle here is an example of particle but theoretically okay in theory in theory meaning that maybe you cannot see it but there there is uh scientists uh, made up uh based on the evidence they try to explain by using the theory theory eh? so if you look at the picture on the left uh, this is what we call the particle here these are the the particle all right and then the particle are always moving constantly moving meaning that it is always moving okay it is always moving for example the particle of um solid the particle of plastic the other uh, the what we call the particle of air the particle of any matter any matter eh, class eh, remember eh, any matter eh, uh, made of small particle moving small and discrete particles okay this is what we call by kinetic theory of matter okay and then it is always moving it is not stationary it is always moving okay can you understand this uh, you must uh, you must understand this first before we continue right made of particle okay so i continue okay and then number two uh, this is very very uh, simple what are the matter the state of matter okay uh the condition or the state we call it the state of matter there are three state of matter that you need to know to understand number one is solid number two is liquid and then number three is gas i don't know whether you already learned this in your uh, primary school huh? 
Are you already learn this in primary school or no? Yes. Already learn, yes, right? Yes. Okay, I think if you already learn the basic, I think it's very, very easy for you to understand, right? Solid, liquid, and gas. And then make sure you, what we call, uh, uh, try to differentiate, eh? uh, able to compare uh, the type of solid, liquid, and gas. For example, for solid, the ceramic, the plastic eh, that you can hold, that's hard. Okay, the matter, what we call the object or the material is hard. So we call it solid. Okay, liquid, for example, honey over here or water or oil. Okay, this is a good uh, liquid state. And then gas is the vapor or the gas. Okay, produced from the hot tea, for example, the oxygen that we inhale and the carbon dioxide that we exhale is, is what we call by, by gas. Okay, three state of matter. And then you must remember, okay, my question. Solid, liquid, and gas is what we call the state of matter, right? You must remember this. These three things is what we call state of matter, okay? State of matter. Okay, state of matter, number one, solid, number two, liquid, and number three is gas. You must remember this. Uh, solid, liquid, and gas. And then you must be able to give the example. What is the example of solid? For example, wood. Right. So what is the example of uh, liquid? We call it water. Water is a liquid eh? or oil. Okay. Or what we call oil or the anything that flows. Eh? Anything that has viscosity, or it can flow. All right. Uh, water, oil, um, paint. Eh? This is the state of liquid. And then gas is what we call uh, maybe oxygen, air, water vapor is the example of gas here. Okay. And then I want to just ask you the three state of matter, solid, liquid, and gas, got small particle or not in it? Got particle or no particle inside all solid, liquid, and gas? Got particle or no particles? Hello? Okay. Has particle or no? Yes. Yes? Cannot hear you. Has particle or no particle? Has particle. Okay. okay. Every, every matter has particle. Okay. But the difference is the position of the particle that, uh, that uh, what makes it different. Okay. Later on, we will learn the, what we call, uh, what are different in the particle arrangement uh, between solid, liquid, and gas. Okay. But you just remember, all of this has its own particles. Okay. Solid, uh, sorry, moving, part, uh, moving and uh, small moving and what we call discrete particles. Okay. Okay. I'll continue. Okay. Uh, this one is an example of one of the matter. Okay. One of the matter is water. Water is very special because in certain temperature, it can turn into ice. Okay. And then ice is what we call a solid state. And then in certain temperature also, it can, it can turn into gas. Okay. Uh, gas is uh, what we call the, 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 uh, the other state of matter, right? And then in room temperature, uh, whether the condition is not too hot or not too cold, it turns into liquid, okay? Uh, this is example of what we call example of matter, okay? We take one example, uh, we, we take one example of matter that is water. Water is very special. Eh? It can turn into solid and it, it also can turn into into gas okay so uh for example if you want to turn the water into gas what uh what uh what we do we try to what uh, if you want to turn okay class if you want to turn the solid water uh the liquid water here into gas meaning that you need to uh, what, what what you need to do Boil it up. Yes, very good. You need to boil it or you need to heat it up. Okay, meaning that you must apply heat. You must uh, heat it up. Then at a certain temperature, it will turn into 
into gas. So what is the temperature? Any of you still remember? Before the water. Yes, very good. Yeah, from, from what we call, from the liquid state of matter, all right, from the liquid state of matter of water, and then it will turn into gas, it need about, for water, it need 100 degree Celsius, okay? And then also, it can turn into ice. From liquid also, it can turn into ice, okay? So what is the temperature uh, for the liquid to turn into solid? Zero. Zero what? Degree Zero Celsius. degree Celsius. Okay. And then for the room temperature, room temperature is about maybe uh, 30 degrees Celsius or 25 degrees Celsius. Yeah? 25 or 30 degrees Celsius, we call it uh, uh, what we call uh, a room temperature. Where the water, okay, where the water state is in liquid. Okay. So this is chemical or physical properties of matter. You still remember physical properties, physical and chemical properties? Okay, this one, uh, physical properties or chemical properties? Physical. Physical, okay, very good. Yeah? This is physical properties, okay? Do you still remember what is physical properties? Meaning that, right? Meaning that the, uh, the water here, if we apply the heat, or we cool it, okay, the water doesn't turn into a new substance. So it is just a changing the matter only. Eh? From liquid turn to gas or from the liquid turn to solid, it just uh, change the, the physical properties only, okay? So it is what we call by physical properties of matter, not chemical, eh? You still remember the chemical? You still remember our last lesson? Eh? When we when the substance turn into new substance. Okay, for example, uh, the when we what we call uh, uh, try to fry an egg, eh? telur itu digoreng. Okay, it will turn into new substance that is irreversible. You cannot go back to the to the raw uh, raw eggs again. Okay, so this is physical properties of matter, yeah? Right. So we continue. Okay, so this is the comparison of characteristic of three states of matter. So you need to understand this as well. Okay. Number one is D. <clears throat> you must understand the characteristic of each matter by shape by mass by volume and by its compressibility so one by one i will we look at the uh, the shape of the solid okay we uh, we look at the uh, the the shape of the solid first eh? okay you must remember it has fixed shape for mass it has okay fixed shape for solid and then it has fixed mass for the for the mass and then for volume is also fixed volume and compressibility mean it incompressible okay Com uh, what is uh, the what is the meaning by compressibility when you try to compress the matter it cannot compress anymore okay you cannot compress the matter into what we call into a compact compressibility one okay it cannot press anymore okay if you apply the apply try to push or try to pull the solid uh, in same direction it will not change this it will not change the shape or the or the what we call the mass okay everything is fixed fixed means same yeah fixed itu maknanya sama okay and then how about liquid liquid take the shape of the container Okay, take the shape of the container. Do you still remember what is the meaning by take the shape of the container? Meaning that if I can show you the picture here, right? Uh, for example, eh? okay, the water bottle over here, there are many types, for example here, yeah, I will show you the picture. There are many types of water bottle size, right? 
Okay, many, many types. Okay, what happened when you put the water inside? And what happened to the water? Okay, it will fill. Eh, for example, I will use the blue, blue line here. If you put the water inside each of the bottle, it will fill, completely fill the bottle. Okay, for example, the first bottle over here, you can see that it will try to complete all the spaces inside the bottle here. It will not leave any space. So this is what we call by, this is what we call by, um, take the shape of the container. Okay, it will not leave a space. Huh? Second bottle over here, or the third bottle over here, it will follow the shape of the container. Uh, this is what we call by, uh, what again? Uh, take the shape of the container. Okay, it will not leave any space inside. Right? Can you understand me? Uh, this is what we call by, take the shape of the container. Right? This is what we call, uh, take the, take the shape of container. Huh? Any type of container, any size of the container, it will take the shape. Okay? Can you understand this? Right. Yes. For, for liquid and for water, uh, for liquid and for gas, it will take the shape of the container. But for solid, it will stay, for solid, it will stay fixed shape. Okay? Okay, how about mass for liquid? Mass, fixed mass, volume, fixed volume, and then difficult to compress. Okay? Water can be compressed, but only a little bit of water, uh, of the liquid, sorry, not water, liquid, can be compressed, but just a little bit. Okay? And then how about gas? Gas also take the shape of the container and the difference is there are no fixed mass. Eh? And then for the volume, it will follow the volume of the container. And how about the compressibility? The gas is able to become compressed. Okay, this is the compression of characteristic three state of matter. Okay, you must run understand this. Huh? Later, later, I will ask you to, to, to copy the characteristic huh, inside your exercise book okay and then this one uh, this is what we call the the arrangement of matter so you must be understand this i will show you the animation here try to show you the uh, particles of matter okay GIF. right so this is what we call by the, the arrangement of particle in matter, yeah? Okay, so I show you, try to show you the picture, the, the what we call uh, the animation here, yeah, yeah? Okay, so this is, what we call the theory kinetic of matter. You still remember the theory kinetic of matter, meaning that the matter is made up of what, class? The matter is made up of what we call small and discrete, uh, uh, okay. discrete particle. Discrete particle means the same size. Uh, what is the meaning? Oh, sorry. The meaning is the um, constantly moving small and discrete particle again. Sorry, huh? constantly, what we call uh, constantly, co constantly moving small and discrete particles. Okay, constantly moving and what we call a moving a particles here. Okay, so this is the what we call the, the animation of each solid. Yeah, this is solid, and then this is liquid, and this is the gas. Although uh, you must remember, although the part the matter is solid, the particle inside it still moving, but it just moving very small vibration over there. If you can see the, the, the example here, uh, 
Can you see the example? It is yes. constantly moving, but in a small vibration only. Okay, liquid, uh, liquid, they also moving, but if the, 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 what we call, um, the, the distance between the particle is a bit far. And then for gas okay, over here, okay, it randomly moving all over the place, okay, for gas. So you need to understand this, uh, the arrangement of the particle, and then what happened to the particle itself, right? So if you look at the textbook, okay, if you look at the textbook over here, right? Okay, for gas, okay, for gas, um, what happened in the gas? Space between particles very large. What do you mean by space? Uh, space between particle, one particle to another particle, the space over here is very large, and then the particle arrangement very loose. Uh, this is large, and then particle arrangement very loose. Arrangement meaning that the arrangement of the particle inside the gas, and then the movement move randomly and collide with one another again observe the animation okay you can see the the gas over here yeah you see the uh, the gas over here what happened to the gas particle right space very large and then the particle arrangement loose very loose and then the particle movement uh, move randomly and collide with each another okay this is for gas okay and then what happened to the liquid okay for liquid uh, what happened to the what we call the um, the space between particle moderate moderate mean it is not as large uh, the, the space between the particle is not as large as gas uh, it's still considered very close but it is not too close okay for example between this particle the first particle over here and the particle over here it's pretty close right uh, but it is not too close okay this is what we call a moderate uh, this is what we call by moderate the space between particle is moderate and then the particle arrangement close and then the particle movement move freely and collide with one another okay you must understand it eh? for gas move randomly and then for, for liquid, move freely and collide with one another. Okay? Like this. Now, this is liquid. Right? This is liquid. See? The space is not to... The, the space between particles is not to... Uh, what we call... Um, it's moderate. Eh? Sorry, it's moderate. And then what we call the particle arrangement is close together. And then the particle movement move freely uh, this is for liquid okay i will go very fast and then how about the um uh, uh, solid for solid the space between particle very small and then particle arrangement very very close and then the movement it will just vibrate in the fixed position okay you cannot say it has no movement and although it is a solid it has movement, but very, just vibrate in fixed position. Space, small, particle arrangement, very close. Okay, observe the animation here. Huh? Can you observe the animation here? Right, you can see the particle, uh, what we call the, the, the space between particle, very small, okay, and then very arranged arrange neatly. All right, the particle varies very close together, okay, small, and then the arrangement close together and then it will vibrate okay it is not moving uh you cannot say it's it's not moving yeah it's vibrate in fixed position this is what we call the vibrate in fixed position okay this is for this is for liquid all right can you understand this yes okay if you understand this right okay so um okay next one is the uh diffusion rate in three state of matter 
I think uh, I will stop here. Uh, we will continue the next topic, uh, diffusion rate in the state of matter next time, uh, maybe after the school holiday. Uh, maybe we are hoping that you all can come back to the school. And then we are also hoping that school will be reopened in 14 of June uh, after the two week school holiday. But if the, if the school still closed, so I think I will continue the topic after the school holiday okay is it okay huh? okay right. so now it's 8 30 in the morning so i think i will stop um sorry uh i think i will stop the google the online class uh, now um so see you maybe uh, after this i will try to give you some exercise for you to do uh in the school holiday uh, please check uh, the notification on our Telegram group. If have any information, I will give the information in our class group, uh, Telegram group. Eh? Okay, and then uh, we can finish the class for now. Stay at home and then stay healthy. All right. This two week is very crucial because today case I we don't we do not we don't know. Eh? Maybe about maybe can reach eight thousand new cases per day. Stay at home, stay healthy, and if you have uh, nothing to do, uh, without we no 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 business to do, you just stay at home. All right. Uh, so we can uh, see you next time. If I have any information, I will give on the our telegram group. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay, we can leave the class now. Bye bye. Thank you, Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you.